Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy and I'm here to share a layout with you. So this one is going to be a winter picture and I'm going to be using some papers from a little um, holiday release that Studio Calico did. I believe everything's still available on their website and I will link it down below, but these are the papers that I have chosen and also these little stickers that go with the, the collection. I can't remember what it's called, maybe like Canyon something, I don't know, but I had a little bit of a difficult time because the photograph is of our dog Ellie and she's in the snow and she's loving it and she's wearing a red and pink like jacket and so I wanted to incorporate the pink in there somehow and I found this little section of one of those papers that's like Santa Claus and his reindeer and it was really really cute so I decided to cut that out and kind of use it as more more than a foot it's not really a photo mat it's just kind of a large layer that you can really see what what the design is I don't think I actually map the photo I end up doing um taking this paper and putting a little bit of a photo corner with it even though at this point I thought I was going to use it as a layer because I liked the green and I wanted to incorporate some green into the layout and that paper I thought did a really good job of doing that but you'll see in the end that I end up changing the design well you can see here how I have that graph paper and a shipping tag and then the Santa Claus image with the reindeer and then my photo will lay on top of that and this is a 9 by 12 um, size so just so you understand the scale of what I'm doing here I really have started to love scrapbooking 9 by 12 I haven't done a 12 by 12 layout in a little while I, get, I think since I did my um, last class for big picture classes which you should check out it's on making your own backgrounds and then I have another class that combines project life and scrapbooking layout. So I always have the link below for that also, if you want to check out my classes. So I decided that I wanted to, instead of using that big um, paper with the green and the pine needles and stuff, I'm going to do a kind of watercolory background and I'm using the Tim Holtz distress inks. And this is a Tim Holtz craft mat that I've cut down to a smaller size because it's perfect for doing the packaging technique. And I just find that I use it a lot more this way than as an actual mat. And it's really big, so I still have a, a big chunk left. So I'm just like almost like stamping the ink pad down and then spraying it with water. And you you will have seen that the first time I did it, I did not use it enough water. And you can see all those little polka dots that are the like the ink droplets. And I didn't really care for that look. So all I did was just add more water and go back over it and it was perfect. And now I am taking a paintbrush with some of the ink and, and it's pretty watered down and just splattering it to make some splatters along the diagonal of the layout. And I like to blot with a paper towel because it mutes the color a little bit and it dries faster. So I didn't use any gesso or anything on this layout and it is not watercolor paper. So I did get a little bit of warping, but I just put a piece of kind of thicker weight cardstock behind it before I put it in my album. Now I'm going to add some of these um, October afternoon rub-ons. These are super old. And I was just testing one there where I know my photo is going to go because, uh, first of all, they're old and I wasn't sure if they were going to work. And secondly, I find sometimes that things adhere differently on top of watercolor, especially if you have used gesso, but even if you don't use gesso, sometimes they don't adhere as well. But these worked out perfectly. I think October Afternoons made the best quality rub-ons because I have some that are so old and they still work perfectly. Part of this video that I cut out was I also had some Hambly. Do y'all remember Hambly? I used to love Hambly stuff. Um, rub-ons that were probably about the same age as these, maybe a little bit older. I tried those for some variation in the snowflakes and they did not work at all. They basically just crumbled. So that was kind of a bummer. Anyways, I'm just using my little basic gray tool here to, um, get down, to get those rub-ons down. And you can also use like a popsicle stick. That's normally what I use. I just happen to kind of rearrange my craft desk, and desk to where I could easily access my tool. So I was using it. Hey, Ellie. Ellie's here right under my desk. She always has to be involved in the videos because everything's about her, you know. <laughs> Do y'all have dogs like that? I'm sure. Um, okay, so I'm just figuring out my positioning here and 
this is sped up, believe it or not. That's how slow I scrapbook. <laughs> And here I'm going to add the little photo corner that I made. And I do believe I cut that down a little bit because it, the proportion just didn't seem right. It looked a little too, too big. Yeah, so I'm trimming it down. I only sped this up twice, like times two speed, because I get comments sometimes saying that I go too fast in my process videos. So I wanted to take it down a notch for y'all. So here I have one of those little um, square stickers that are from Studio Calco. That transparency is from one of the Allie Edwards December Daily kits. And then that cheer wood veneer is from an old Heidi Swap Christmas collection. Now I wanted to add some more green in another place. And so I was looking through my things to find something green. And I found this little arrow on the Illustrated Faith um, and it was Christmas was a collection sticker sheet. And I'm just going to add that between the December and the cheer, just so I have the green, like in three places. I just think it ties it all together well, and it kind of breaks up all of that. There's a lot of pink and red going on in this layout. So I really like that. And I'm also going to get some of these little tiny word stickers. Those are from October afternoon also. And I'm going to add that underneath the word cheer, which I don't think I've adhered yet. But I do end up adhering it with some dimensional adhesive and also some matte medium because the photo is up on foam. So I wanted to make it level with the photo. So I used the matte medium on the part that touches the photo and then the little foam adhesive is on the rest of it. And I also add a little bit of that matte medium to the foam because the pieces are so tiny. I was afraid they weren't going to stick. And that foam adhesive it's the stuff from the huge roll sometimes when you cut down that small it doesn't it loses some of its strength so I wanted to make sure that that wood veneer didn't move around so I'm just adhering that down and that ranger matte medium stuff is great because if you get too much on like that wood veneer which is pretty thin so it's kind of easy to get too much glue it will dry matte so you won't really see it on your photo whereas if you use like glossy accents or something it dries glossy so it's kind of more obvious that you have glue outside the lines or outside of your embellishment or however you want to say it so I'm just adhering this little uh, sticker because normally when I use stickers I will use some of the a peel of this also in that little clear tin that you saw when I was playing with the sticker sheet and I had a paintbrush that is some of the anti-static powder that is used for embossing it come you can get uh, I think a lot of different places and I just dump it out into that little container and then use a brush and I brush it on the back of any like stickers or chipboard or stuff I'm using so that way I can move it around on the layout and it doesn't stick so I think this pretty much finishes up that layout oh I did add the little sticker and a little strip of pattern paper because I felt like there was too much space between that um, holly sprig and the photo so I needed a little something there and I'm also going to be adding some of these wood the teeny tiny 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 little wood veneer stars and they're from Studio Calico also I'm sorry if you can hear Ellie breathing in the background she's got her head on my knee for some pets she likes to get petted when I do voiceovers so I'm just gonna add, scatter those around I started off with I think four or five and then I just kept adding but I always like to have an odd number of an embellishment like that enamel dots or something like that you know I like to use them in odd numbers I feel like it just makes the layout look more balanced which is odd because you would think even would make it look more balanced yep I think that finishes up I'm sorry I don't have final photos but I am going to kind of show this layout to you you know pick it up and show it to you um and I thanks guys so much for watching I know it's been a while but I have uh, my next video will be on some of the new release stuff that I got, which I'm really excited about. And I will have some more process videos coming up in the future. But in the meantime, like I said, you can check out my classes at Big Picture Classes. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Um, you can email me if you want. Um, anything. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all real soon.